From being one of the top players in Clash of Clans to having insanely rare obstacles, these are the biggest flexes you can have in Clash of Clans. The first flex we're going to be talking about is owning a League skin. Depending on your clan, you can get one of these quicker, but in any clan, it's still going to take months to save up the League medals to be able to get this. I have half the amount of League medals you need to get one of these, and let me tell you, I have been tempted to spend them. Anyways, if you have one of these, that's totally something you can flex, and people are bound to get jealous. I cannot wait to just troll my clan mates just bragging about this. Stop. Also, speaking of clans, if you're a non-Rush Town Hall 11 and up, please consider joining because we are trying to build up this clan. Another big flex is owning every single skin. Man, I wish I had every single skin. Or if you own every single scenery, you are probably just pretty rich. That is a huge flex. Okay, the next flex is one of the biggest flexes in the game. And this flex is being in leaderboards. I don't care if it's local or global. If you are in leaderboards, you are an extreme pro player. I mean, I've never even been to Legend League. My best is Titan 3. If you're in global leaderboards, you're literally one of the top 200 players. But now here's a builder-based flex that I would say is even more impressive than being in leaderboards on the home village. And that is being in Diamond League in the builder base. You have to have 6,200 trophies to get into Diamond Diamond on the builder base. Literally, at the time of editing this, there's there's literally nobody in Diamond League. <laughs> Nobody's in Diamond League at the time of recording this. I mean, like, what? How? How do you get into Diamond League in the builder base? If, you, if you've been into Diamond League in the builder base, let me know in the comments. Okay, so probably nobody was expecting this one to be in the video, but the flex is having your name in the credits. That means you helped make Clash of Clans that's a huge flex. Go brag about it. You can totally brag about that. Okay, if you're the leader of a big clan, that is a big flex. I am a leader of a level 12 clan, which is pretty big. Not that... The clan's kind of dead right now, so you should totally join the clan. It's called Cheese Peeps. Please join. Non-Rush Town Hall 11s and up. Join. But anyways, yeah, if you're a leader of a big clan, that is awesome. I mean, if you're the leader of a clan, you can just control everybody. You know the clan capital, the whole clan shares those bases? Well, if you're the leader, you can technically, yeah, you can just kick everybody out of the clan and just keep the capital to yourself. That I can do that right now. I can kick everybody and have the capital to myself, but and that's not going to grow, and that would just be stupid. Like, don't, don't do that, okay? Not going to lie would be a little bit cool. <laughs> not cool, not cool. Cruel, cruel. <laughs> I meant to say cruel. Okay, this one is probably the most obvious flex, and that is having a max Town Hall 15, 16, or even 14 base. If you got a max base on a really high Town Hall level, that's a flex that's really cool. <laughs> I wish I had that. <laughs> I'm a little bit rushed. Rate my base in the comments. I think it's a pretty good base. I'd say if you're in Legend League, you can totally flex that. I've never been to Legend League, and I'm a Town Hall 14. I gotta go there sometime. But what's actually crazy is pushing the Legend with a low Town Hall level. The town, a Town Hall 6 made it to Legend League, and that is the world record for the lowest Town Hall level to reach Legend League. Pushing to Legend with a Town Hall under level 11 is crazy. I cannot believe that somebody did Town Hall 6. Fun fact, a Town Hall 8 joined my clan and that town hall 8 was in legend league that is that is just insane also if your clan has a max clan capital that's a flex that's awesome i wish my clan's capital was maxed Okay guys, now it's time to get into the rare stuff like obstacles and decorations. If you have any of this stuff that's really old, that is a flex. Let's start with the decorations. Lots of decorations here aren't rare, but lots of them are. For example, that builder statue right there, you rarely ever see that. I'm pretty sure that builder statue came out six or seven years ago back in 2017, so that's a pretty rare decoration. Some of these were for free, and some of them you had to pay quite a bit of money to get. Like the super statue here. It says it costs $10 for the statue, a book of fighting, and a 100,000 dark elixir. That's more than a scenery or a gold pass. So yeah, if you have the super statue, that's a flex. There was more statues that cost $10 though, so like the dragon statue and the clockwork statue, and lots of them cost $5 too. The last clan war league statue isn't exactly rare, it's just hard to get. Harder to get than the league skins, in fact. It is the same price as the league skins, but in order to buy the statue, you have to be in a clan that's in champion one in the clan war leagues. So yeah, if you have any of these decorations that cost money a few years ago, that is a flex, or if you have the last Clan War League statue, that's definitely a flex. I wish I had those old statues so bad. Find your dreams come true. And I want 
Okay, now it's time to talk about the obstacles, and some of this stuff is so rare that it's gonna blow your mind. There's so many types of obstacles like Clash Mysteries, Halloween decorations, Clash Anniversary cakes, Lunar decorations, or any other random stuff. Lots of obstacles are super rare. Some of them are so rare that I'm almost in disbelief that only a few players have them. If you have any that I'm about to mention, that's totally a flex. First off, let's check out the Halloween decorations. If you have any of those first three, that's totally a flex. That's 2014, 2015, and 2016. I wish I had those. The 2017 one is also rare, too. The Lunar New Year decorations aren't that old. I think 2018 and up, but if you have them, that's still really cool. Here's where things get really crazy, because some of the old Clash Mysteries are actually insanely rare. The 2012 Clash Mystery is so rare that I'm almost in disbelief that the numbers are Real. Here are the numbers of the players who have the Clash Mysteries, and this this is so crazy. Okay, do you see that? It says only 2,600 players have the Clash Mystery from 2012, which is insane. Out of how many tens of millions of players this game has, only 2,600 of them have the tree. It's crazy for the 2013 tree too, because only 54,000 players have it. So if you actually have the 2012 Clash Mystery, I'm gonna say biggest flex in the game. Honestly, that is the biggest flex in the game. If you have any of the Clash Mysteries from 2017 and down, that's a huge flex, and 2012 and 2013 and 2014 are just unbelievable. Oh, and we can't forget the cakes. If you have the first one, that's really nice. These aren't that old though. And then of course there's random obstacles like the spiky cactus. I don't know how rare this one actually is. I think it came out in 2017 or 18, but I might just be putting it on this list because I want it so bad. It's Spike from Supercell's other game, Brawl Stars, and it came out to celebrate the release of Brawl Stars. So if you have it, flex it to me, and yes, I will be jealous. Here's a mega flex, and that flex has been in esports and getting to the Clash of Clans World Championships. This isn't leaderboards, this is esports where you keep competing and going up until you are one of the best players to be in the world championships and if you win that you get a lot of money being in esports is a crazy flex and you're not going to make it very far in the world championships with a non-max or rushed base so you also are going to want a max base or basically need one so yeah if you've played in esports uh comment on this video brag about it it's a crazy flex Oh, and guys, I forgot to mention this rare rock. It's an obstacle that only grew for a month in 2012. It's not like a special obstacle. It was just a normal rock, and the numbers are unknown on how many people own this. It could be rarer than the original Clash Mystery. So if you have this, please comment. I will be super surprised if you have this. Another flex is having tons of gems. I mean, everybody wants gems. YouTuber Galadon Gaming spent thousands of dollars on Clash of Clans a few years ago and got like 200,000 gems, and that is the world record. Yeah, that's a big flex. Okay, so if you have anything in this video, that is a flex. I'm not sure that I have anything in this video. <laughs> uh, that kind of sucks. But anyway, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'm gonna continue making them, and they do not cost anything to watch. And if you wanna see me expose Chinese Clash of Clans, click this video right here here. It's a really good one.